This is how a normal ECG looks like. It is recorded from a normal healthy person. You can see that leads 1, 2 and 3 are present in one column. Leads VR, VL and VF are present in the second column. Leads V1 to V3 are present in the third column and leads V4 to V6 are present in the fourth column. Apart from these four columns, there is an additional lead at the bottom which is covering the whole length of the ECG paper from left to right. This is called rhythm strip. It is a continuous record of lead 2. It is produced by most of the ECG recorders as it helps to identify abnormal rhythms. This is the common arrangement in which leads are present on an ECG paper. However, slight variations in arrangement may be present from some ECG recorders. You can see upward deflections on the far left side of the ECG paper. Some ECG recorders give these deflections on the right side of the paper. These deflections show the calibration of the ECG machine. One milliwatt of electrical signal should produce one centimeter high deflection, which is equal to two large scales. Normal calibration signal is one centimeter high or two large scales high. Calibration in this ECG is also normal as it is two large scales in height. So we can say that this ECG machine is properly calibrated. Focus on lead VR. Notice that it is negative, which means its downward deflection is greater, or in other words, S wave is greater than the R wave. Also note that P and T waves are inverted in this lead. These are all the normal features of this lead. Focus on R wave height as we move from leads V1 to V6. You will notice that as we move from leads V1 to V6, R wave height increases gradually whereas the depth of S wave decreases gradually. This is called normal R wave progression because R wave height is gradually increasing as we move from leads V1 to V6. The lead in which R and S waves become of equal size is called transition point. It shows the level of interventricular septum. Normally transition point is at V3 or V4 level. If the right ventricle is enlarged and occupies more of the precordium than is normal, the transition point will move from its normal position of leads V3, V4 to leads V4, V5 or sometimes leads V5, V6. Seen from below, the heart can be thought of as having rotated in a clockwise direction. Clockwise rotation in the ECG is characteristic of chronic lung disease. If the height of R wave is not increasing gradually as we move from leads V1 to V6, it is called poor R wave progression. See this example. This is ECG of a person who has the history of myocardial infarction. Focus on R wave as we move from leads V1 to V6. You will notice that from leads V1 to V4, only downward deflections of Q waves are present and R waves are completely absent. R waves appear only in V5 and V6. So we will say this ECG shows poor R wave progression. Also notice that T waves are inverted in the chest leads. These Q waves and inverted T waves are characteristic of people with a history of myocardial infarction. In the next video, we will see how abnormal and wrongly taken ECGs differ from the normal one. Like the video if it was helpful for you. Subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks a lot.